Hi, this is Richard Bross, CTO of Silverspore, and this is part two of our Buttonspore 1.0 demo. In this demo, we're going to take a look at the integration between the Spore configuration interface and the monitoring software. Wherever you see a reference to a host or a service in the configuration interface, you can click or right click to interact directly with the iChinga monitoring software. I clicked on the server group in the host group chart, and a browser tab opens, taking me to the iChinga host group page. Clicking on Linux Server Health in the Service Groups chart opens a browser page showing just the hosts and services related to that group. And of course I can do the same for Windows Server Health. The Service Status chart shows one warning and one critical service. When I click on the chart I'm brought to the Service Details page and click on Critical to see critical services. In this case it's an expired certificate on a secure web service that's no longer used. I'm going to click on the Host Services tab where I can view all the hosts and services that are being monitored. Here I see the discovery details of each host and each service. On this host, SNMP was enabled and one of the community strings in our list was valid. On this Windows server, we had valid credentials for both SNMP and WMI. So let's go to that service that was in the critical state. I'm going to right click and choose View and UI just to ensure that I have the correct service. That's the one, so let's go back and disable it. Now I'll just right click and choose Disable. Because I know my network well, I know that I'm monitoring some services that I don't need to be, and there are others that I'd like to keep an eye on. So quickly, I'm going to go and right click and put some of those hosts and services in the correct monitoring state. Now I'll just click Save All Changes. The changes have been saved and iChinga has been reconfigured. Let's launch the iChinga interface and take a look. Once again I'll click on Service Details and we'll page down looking for the service that I disabled. Here's the server and the secure web service that we disabled is gone. Let's go back to the Spore Configuration UI. Most services discovered are well known, but occasionally the Spore will discover one that's unfamiliar. In that case, you're not sure if you should be monitoring the service or not. Conveniently, you can look up any service directly from the Spore configuration interface. You can also customize the Spore's discovery and monitoring behavior. Every interface element has a pop-up description. This option lets us record performance data. This spore has only been running for a couple of minutes, so let's enter the address of a spore that's been running for a few days so we can take a look at some of the data that's been collected. Now let's click over to iChinga and log in. This spore is monitoring the same hosts and services as the other spore. Now I'll just place my mouse cursor over the graph icon. And there's a small thumbnail of the performance graph. If I click on the icon, we can see the performance data for that service. Performance data is collected for the prior 12 months. Let's take a look at the CPU usage on a Windows server. There are charts available for 4 hours, 24 hours, a week, a month, and a year. We can see a series of CPU spikes in the last hour. Previous to that, everything looks pretty normal. And of course, on Linux servers, we can look at CPU load. This chart seems to show quite a bit of variation. But if you look carefully at the scale, you can see that the max value is very, very low. Let's take a look at just one more. This graph will show the response time for a web server. 
Although the response time looks consistently good, it did seem a little slower for a short period of time. We could take a look at other services on the server during the same period of time to see if there was a memory shortage or CPU usage was very high. And that's part two of our Button Spore demo. Please head over to www.silverspore.com for more information.